Hello, welcome to my portfolio website. I made this video to assist you in navigating this site. There, are, uh, of course, this is the front page, uh, main page, and this is the one you'll log into, but also it's the one I want you to go back to should you get lost. So, for example, if I click on pages and files, you go to a different section of this and you might get a little bit lost and, you know, get, you might want to get back to the very beginning. <laughs> so, to do that, just click on the wiki tab and you'll go back to this beginning. Also, on the right side, you'll see that there's a navigator and a sidebar and some other bars. And I really just need you to look through the navigator tool. So you can click the little up caret to close off those. And if, of course, if you close off the navigator, you can reopen it by clicking it down. And then you see um, these folders. And inside these folders are files that support uh, evidence or that support that particular topic. So what you can do to stretch this out is click on this little double band right here and click and left click and hold it and drag it down until you see all of the folders and that's just going to assist you when you go back and forth another topic I want to cover with you is um, this is a website and so it displays what appear to be folders and files but it's mostly web pages and things like that so for example if you want to go look into um, this first folder there are uh, it, does, it appears to be nothing inside there. However, if you click on the Files button, you'll see that there are files inside here. All right, now you really want to start looking at the files that support, uh, that are evidence to support the um, folder statement that's required. So there are a couple ways of doing it. One is to simply left click on it, and it brings up another web page. And while you think you'd be viewing that document or that file right now, uh, many of the file types you won't be able to see instantly. So it requires that you click on download, which downloads the file, then you click on the download button and it pulls it up and then you can review it. All right, and so that would be like the first one and then you click on the next file, it's here, you click download and you click uh, on the bottom where it's downloaded and you review it and close it. So it's a little cumbersome, okay, that's, but it's one way. Uh, the other option is to right mouse click and say open a new window and then it gives you that same page and you click download and same repeating pattern here. All right. However, in this way when you open a new window it leaves the one in the background open. Uh, and so you may want that so you don't close things out and have to log back in. But you know, there are a couple different ways. So you can close this one uh, and go to the next folder, etc. I want to start back at the beginning and show you another way that you, you probably would like more. And that is, from the home page, click on Pages and Files. On the left side, it shows all the folders that are associated with this uh, portfolio website. And that's, li and that's nice, because if you click on like Reflective Statement, like you've seen, there are the two files. The next one's down. There are the next one's down. See how nice that sorts them out? So in this particular kind of view, it can automatically sort it properly, uh, numerical than alpha. Also, when you let your mouse hover over the line item, you get this tab right here, this, this additional button. And if you click the down arrow, you can click on download, which does the same thing you've been seeing, only it doesn't move you away from this view. So then, after it's downloaded, you click on it like you've done before, and now you can review it, click on the next folder. It's not sorted correctly, and I really want you to go through it a certain way, so I really want you to click on the name, and then it'll sort it numerically than alpha, which is lovely. Then you slide your mouse over, it highlights the button, activates the button, then click on download, and download it from here. And you get to go and review the contents, and it keeps you in this view. So then you click on the next one, click out in space, uh, click on the next one, click on download, click on the downloaded file, Wait for it to execute the application and review the content. Okay, so from my point of view, this uh, going to the pages and files seems to be the most logical and efficient way uh, for you to proceed uh, because it leaves you know you start here and just work your way down each of the items that you want to go through. Uh, some of the things, just as a reminder, is uh, when you move your mouse over the item, it'll highlight the button and activate the button. Simply click the down arrow, and then what you're trying to do is download that file, click on it, it activates it, okay, read it, make your notes, etc. Um, and then in order to get rid of this 
box, simply click out in space, go to the next one, and so on and so forth. I appreciate your time and effort, and I hope this makes your experience more enjoyable.